Hey guys, my name is Leilani Africa and you're watching another episode of Inner Circle. Today we're going to check out Lala Jamelis' mural, Heart of Silicon Valley, and we're going to do a short interview with her, so let's go. We're here with Lila Jamelos, and can you tell us your inspiration behind all these murals over here? Well, so we're at Eastridge, and Eastridge was my hometown mall growing up. Uh -huh. I, I graduated from Silver Creek High School. I'm super local, but because I'm your guys' local artist, I felt like it was only appropriate to show some San Jose love on all four of these. And I can definitely see it. <laughs> oh my gosh, and it's interesting to see what people pull from different parts of San Jose uh -huh. communicate with different people and so the old timers will stop in front of the orchards and say mm -hmm. this is how I remember San Jose. Um, the young kids love the new envisioning of technological San Jose here and everybody's in love with downtown. You just There's brought something... everything, every piece of San Jose is here. Oh my gosh, it's fun <laughs> to watch the girls run across the wall trying to decide you know, which posing. One... Oh, you know when you can make somebody drop a handbag? Uh -huh. It's a good mural. Oh, like me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us when did you start creating murals? So I started painting murals when I was 18. I had the odd job here and there uh -huh. in college. Um, but I started painting murals professionally for myself eight years ago. And I was doing a lot of home murals. Uh -huh. There are a lot of little kids' bedrooms painted. Awesome. Um, but I eventually started... Um, I decided that murals need to have more of a function. Uh -huh. It can beautify, of course, but it can actually do something to community and bring people out and help people embrace that. Um, I really found that in public mm -hmm. schools, especially here in Evergreen and Eastside San Jose. And they suffer with a lot of graffiti. And if I can come in and create something beautiful that mitigates mm -hmm. the graffiti, then everybody wins. I definitely appreciate your work. I'm an arts advocate as well, so I love that Eastridge has these murals here and they did the call for artists. So thank you for being here. Oh my gosh, isn't this great? Yes. We needed just a little color in our lives yeah, here in very Eastside true. San Jose. District 8 in, uh, in the city of San Jose uh -huh. only has two pieces of public art. Oh, one wow. of them's at the local um, Evergreen Library, the old one, not the new one, uh -huh. and it's hidden around the back. The other one is at San Felipe Road and Yerba Buena Road. Mm -hmm. And that one, if you didn't know precisely the history yeah. there, it would completely miss you. I'm sure there are a lot of Evergreen Valley College students mm -hmm. who are just drive by this weird looking thing sticking out of the ground and don't really know what it symbolizes. Yeah. But now we have this, so it's amazing. And you know, we want to know where we can find more of your art. So tell us. <laughs> oh, well you can find my portfolio at sanjosemurals.com because it is, of course, a lot of my inspiration. Um, but you can also find me on Instagram and on Twitter at, at Jamelos Murals. Awesome. We want to thank Lila Jamelos for sharing her artwork with us. Come by Eastridge, take a picture, tag us at Eastridge Center on Instagram, and we'll see you guys later.